Our Walt Grayson is back with us as he is every Monday at 6 with another story about us as he focuses on Mississippi. And Walt, you're taking us all the way to downtown Jackson to take a look at that statue of Andrew Jackson we've all heard so much about lately. Yeah, we're sparing no expense. First, a third of a tank of gasoline to get down. The other, city council has voted to remove the statue of Andrew Jackson from City Hall. You know, he has become a controversial figure recently. But since most people in Jackson have probably never seen the statue, I thought we'd take a look at it while it's still in its current setting. Shakespeare had Mark Antony start his funeral oration of Julius Caesar by saying he came to bury Caesar, not praise him. Then he went on to praise him. The next line in Mark Antony's Julius Caesar speech rings quite true about Andrew Jackson, however, when he says the evil that men do lives on after them, and the good is often interred with their bones. And you don't hear much good about Andrew Jackson anymore, but there must have been something. I mean, you don't name your cities after villains. So when the city of Jackson was carved out of a wooded bluff overlooking the Pearl River swamps in 1821, they must have had high regard for Andrew Jackson. Either that or what were they thinking? Well, although Jackson went on to become the seventh president of the United States, he wasn't president yet when the city was named for him. But he was a military hero, having defeated the British in the Battle of New Orleans in the War of 1812. Enough of a hero that Mississippi's new capital city was named for him, along with a lot of other cities and counties throughout the country. The statue of Andrew Jackson at Jackson City Hall for right now was commissioned by Keep Jackson Beautiful, who also created the park in which it stands, Josh Halbert Gardens. Now, the statue itself was created by Catherine Rhymes Speed, the widow of one-time Jackson Mayor Leland Speed. Ms. Speed took up sculpting late in life and studied under Dr. Sam Gore at Mississippi College. She has many of her works in place around the country, particularly at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where several busts of the players of the Chiefs football team are her works. So the problem with her statue isn't the work of art itself, but the subject matter, whose evil has lived on after him and eclipsed the good that is interred with his bones. But in any case, let's respect the art and the artist in the spirit of culture and beautification under which it was commissioned and make sure our city isn't remembered for its evil, but for the good we managed to pull from our souls as we make our way through history. Yeah, right now there are no plans on uh, where the statue of Andrew Jackson will be taken when it's removed or even when that removal will take uh, place.